Since man first walked upright, he has looked to the stars and wondered, are we alone in this cold corner of space? If something is out there, would it be friend or foe? What would this Earth man think if he could see a desperate spaceship fleeing at a speed faster than imagination? What would he think if he saw the impact of potently powerful neutronic missiles upon its fragile frame? What would he make of the strange pod that ejected from the ruined remains just in time to avoid its mysterious inhabitants' destruction? And would he gape in wonder at the dozen or so strange canisters that burst from its hole and fell towards the atmosphere of our guileless globe? What emotion would pass through his mind as he observed these self-same containers as they passed through our atmosphere and fell upon the surface of an unsuspecting metropolis? So many questions and so few answers. Until now, dear viewers. Until now. Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Freedom Force. This game is made by Retinal Game, the year 2000. And, uh, let's get started. An old man sits on a park bench, thinking of a time shrouded in the past. His name is Frank Stiles, and he was once one of the brilliant young scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project, the secret experiment that ushered in the wonders and terrors of the atomic age, it was his work that helped secure America's position as the leader of the free world. But Frank's memories are tinged with bitterness, for he was thrown off the project when he accused one of his fellow scientists of being a communist spy. And now he sits in this park, every day feeling a little older, and a little more useless. Just a minute. I recognize that man. It's O'Connor from the Manhattan Project. They never did believe me he was working for the Reds. But who's that suspicious fellow he's talking to? It looks like they're making some kind of secret exchange. I better move in closer for a better listen. Have you got the documents? Do you have my money? By Lenin's ghost. Is that all you Americans think about? The almighty dollar? Damn, I've been discovered. Idiot! You've been followed. Up to your old tricks, O'Connor? Do you know this capitalist fool? This is an itch I've been waiting to scratch for 20 years. Ah! You must flee before we are discovered. Come on! Pull it! Enter my heart, fading fast. Wait, statue of the Minuteman, glowing, as if it were calling out to me. Power surging into me. Ah! Ah, I am growing younger, body bursting with strength. Feel like I could lift a thousand pounds. That statue must have been hit with some fantastic kind of energy, but it's fading. It must have completely transferred it into my body. I don't know what will come from all of this, but I must use these new powers to help my country fight her enemies within and without. Those Reds might have killed Frank Stiles, but they're about to meet a Minuteman. Donning a costume to protect his identity, Minuteman searches for the treacherous O'Connor. Perhaps that double-crosser left some clues in this park to his whereabouts. To get information about playing the game, click on the glowing signs. Objects and people who you can click on in order to get more information are marked with a red exclamation point. Well. I'm just gonna follow the tutorial path. Uh. Follow the yellow arrows to learn more about the game. If you already know how to play, follow the red arrow. Even though I can't just continue, I'm gonna follow here. Just so here all the missions is here. Hit the O key to see your objectives. 
And catch your corner is the primary objective. It's also uh, what the red key will be, po uh, red arrow will be uh, pointing towards. Uh, when there is uh, sometimes some help uh, to watch how to complete your objective. It will be a red arrow. When you left click on an enemy, you execute your default attack. Try it on the thug ahead. And he's out for the count. The status bar in the bottom right shows details on the target object. Move the pointer over the thug ahead to examine him. Well, um, you can see it's a fuck with a bat. He has 30 hit points, so I weight uh, 170 pounds. And uh, the things in the red box is what he is uh, vulnerable to, including radiation, acid, and I think the last is hypnotic or something like that. Um, mind, I cannot remember uh, exactly the name, but something like that. And uh, you can see he's a hoodlum armed with a baseball bat. And uh, we can see here if we have uh, it over Minute Man, we can see he's Minute Man, he has 70 hit points. He waits the same as the fuck, and it's only vulnerable to um, acid and radiation. He's a patriotic defender of the honest American. And now this fuck is going down. Right, makes my come off. A squeal. This thug has surrendered. Left click on him to interrogate. I don't know where O'Connor is, but Louie might know. He's down on Concord Street. And I'm just gonna knock him out. For Patriot City! Yeah, well, little fuck. Right click on a target to bring up the command menu. And I just did with the fuck. And For you're going freedom. down. Yeah, you like this. Damn it. He got me. Stand back, villain! And now he's down. When using the command menu, the status bar shows details on each option available. Strike for freedom is weaker than smash, but it hits multiple enemies. I can see here uh, it deals blood gunning damage uh, uh, in the corner. You can see, uh, or crushing, I think it's called here. And you can see the arc of which it hits. Uh, Opponents. For freedom! For Patriot City! And he's panicked. For freedom! See how you like freedom! this? For freedom! I did take care of those two. Let's just hear what's uh, here. The purple bar on your portrait shows how much energy you have. Minuteman will stop attacking when he runs out of energy. You can force him to keep attacking, but this may stun him. Be careful. Try striking this boulder to pieces. You may run out of energy while doing so. Well, I need to use my uh, strike for freedom at least if I should run out of any any energy. If I just use mass, I won't. For justice, for Patriot City, and as for you can see, City. it does almost no damage, and he's out here. For Let's just justice. start matting. Normally, in comparison, for freedom! Still far more damage. Energy X canisters can restore your energy or give you other bonuses. Yes, smash does 31 and strike for freedom, uh, freedom only does uh, 14. And uh, smash also have a stun chance. Check how much energy a power will use from the energy bar attached to the command menu. Be careful when it flashes. You can hold down the right mouse button and drag the command menu around. This makes it easier to target moving enemies. Try it now. Well, as the uh, set, you can see how much energy they use, so... Smash use nothing, and National Guard use the most of these three powers. Let's just smash him. For freedom! Away For with Patriot you! City. You saved me! Thank you! No problem, ma'am. You can change your default left click attack by clicking the default power button in the lower left. 
set it to strike for freedom before attacking these thugs. You can also use the function keys, or uh, and you can uh, assign to them whatever you want here. Why did the music go? Stand back, villain! Stand back, villain! Or justice! And you can see it flashing red right now because uh, it costs too much power. And that's uh, also they are grayed out. For Patriot City! Set your default attack back to smash if you want to avoid running out of energy by accident. Strike for Freedom is also dangerous near civilians because uh, you might accidentally hit them. Who is that guy? Looks like trouble. You can talk to everyday inhabitants of Patriot City by clicking on them. They may have interesting things to say. The streets ain't safe no more. And... I reached the gate now here, but first I'm gonna go down here because I uh, recall there's a fog down here somewhere. Here. You're going down, matey. To victory! Now. Stand back, villain! Farewell. And through this here. Gate apparently, um. Minuteman cannot open gate. He will have to destroy them. Right makes might! You can wield some objects as weapons. Try using a traffic light as a club. Ready to serve. You can pick it up. Left click to swing or select down on the command menu. And as uh, you can see it's also area uh, have an area of effect where it hits. Time for some clobbering. I'll squeal. Go away. Stand back, villain. All right, all right. Vinny's down at the cafe. He'll know where O'Connor is. And you are Ooh, going down. Ugh. Come on, you can hit him. For freedom! Good little minion man. And I'm gonna go this way first because there is a canister down here and a gangster. Hey, you ain't supposed to be a goon. Tell me about it. Come back. Right, right guy, makes yeah. oh, I don't feel so good. Oh. Stand back, and villain. to get the canister under here. Stand back, villain. I'm just gonna destroy to victory. the dumpster. This is prestige canister. Which gives prestige points. You also get prestige points for knocking out uh, enemies. On guard! And um You get prestige by completing objectives. Prestige can be used to attract new heroes to your team. Yes. Hey I... sweetie, and over the greenbacks. Leave me alone! Ain't you got no manners? Stand back, oh, Billy! You Arr! saved me! Thank you. You uh lose prestige uh if Civilians are knocked out, or buildings are damaged. 